Mr. Cookie here, feeling extra cozy, it's extra rainy outside, uh, and we decided to cook for you today some uh, candy ginger. So, something I enjoy snacking on sometimes, a little spicy, a little sweet. I love that texture. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. It just takes about an hour and a half or so to, from start to finish. And uh, let's enjoy this. <laughs> Okay, let's start. You got just over a pound of ginger. Since you're gonna lose about 20% of yield once you peel it, and we're peeling it to get one pound. Okay, and then I gave it a rinse to any pieces of skin off. I used a spoon to peel these, or you can use the back of a knife, whatever you like, and then I cut it into quarter inch pieces. So this is pretty easy. You can keep them full circles, you can cut them up, you can cut them into little cube pieces, whatever you want. Okay, so I put it in a reasonably sized pot. So this is one pound of 454 grams of uh, peeled and sliced ginger, okay? I'm gonna be adding to that about 1.25 liters of water, or you can say it's about five cups of water, okay? And then we bring that to a simmer covered, bring it to a boil, then cover it and simmer it for about 30 to 40 minutes until it's almost tender. It's still gonna have a little bit of texture, but I'm gonna check it with a cake tester. As you can see, if you have a cake tester, you can check it as well. It will still feel a little bit firm because there's lots of fiber in ginger. The younger the ginger, the less fiber we'll have. Okay, so I strained it off, and then I add about one cup of cold water. You can use the other water, but your your thing will be a lot spicier. So, and then I add equal parts sugar to the ginger. So it's about one pound of sugar, which is 454 grams. Okay, I, I return it back to the stove, and I am mixing it frequently. This is on medium heat, okay? So we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, and then you have to stir it frequently so it doesn't caramelize, and it will eventually uh, look dry. This is getting close and the sugar will start to crystallize. Like, as you can see in here, it's, start, it's starting to stick to the size of the pot, and it looks really dry, but you don't want it to carry it too far, or else the sugar will caramelize, and that's not what you want, and all your pieces will stick together. So they're gonna come separated from this. Uh, this takes about 25 to 30 minutes for this step, and then you're gonna spread it out on parchment paper, or a sil silicone mat, whatever you have on a tray, let it cool, it takes about half an hour or so. And then you can store it in an airtight container. Hey, if you guys like this video, just let me know. Click the like button, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit the dislike. I don't care, you know, just do something. And uh, thank you for following me on this amazing journey of a cooking with a Jasper or Mr. Cook it or whoever you want to call me. Uh, peace out. Bye.